Here's a quick reminder to Pittsburgh Steelers fans that this is the slowest time of the year, and the news cycle is as dry as it can ever get. And because of that, people are going to make up BS, and it's your job as well as ours not to fall for it. What's going on, everybody? I'm Noah Strackbine. Thank you for jumping on to Steelers To Go, your daily to-go cup of Pittsburgh Steelers news and analysis. Find us on YouTube.com slash All Steelers Talk or subscribe anywhere you get your podcast today. We're talking about a false narrative that has hit the internet that people are running with, and I'm not saying fans are running with it or media. I think media has done a very good job of shutting it down, and I think fans have done a very good job of telling this person or this account that they do not know what they're talking about and instead trying to steer it in the right direction. But it has to be brought to everyone's attention. And I would not be doing my job as much as you guys would not be doing your job as fans if you didn't listen and correct something that is, well, being falsely narrative. The story is from NFL Watch, a an account on Twitter that has 91 thousand followers to it so obviously this is getting plenty of attention that posted george pickens rookie year is reportedly viewed as a quote-unquote failure by steelers wide receivers coach frisman jackson jackson said it was a failure on his part as well as pickens part pickens led the team in receiving yards in receiving touchdowns excuse me last year with four and was second in receiving yards with 801 jackson said he expects a quote-unquote big jump from Pickens in year two, and the expectations for him is to play at a quote-unquote great level. Let me tell you what was actually said by Frisman Jackson, because he said this, well, to me, in a conversation about George Pickens in his second year and where he needs to go, and it wasn't about how bad last year was or how much better he needs to be this year chickens can be an absolute superstar and the pittsburgh steelers are viewing him as a player that could be an absolute superstar so they're looking to add to his game and in the meantime he's talking about how that's going to create a big jump for pickens this is what jackson had to say quote it has to be a big jump the honest is on me to have him take a next step that big jump that we are all searching for and want. He's got to be a great player for us. We need him to be a great player, and for him to play like he did last year, that's a failure on my part. That's a failure on his part. And so he's got to play at a great level, and the expectations is for him to play at a great level this season. Just to add a little bit more context here, this is the quote right before that about adding slants and 60-yard catch and runs to his arsenal this season. We're hoping to add to his repertoire. Last year, he showed his vertical part of his game. He has a lot more to his game. Hopefully this year, we can get him doing a bunch more of what he's capable of doing. We got to get him to be better after the catch. He's got to be able to take a slant and go 60 yards with it. He showed one part of his game last year. We're working and improving the other parts of his game. That does not sound like a coach that believes that somebody who just caught 800 yards and four touchdowns as a rookie in an offense that was possibly the worst in football was a failure. It's a Twitter account running with the narrative, running with one little word in his quote and saying, I'm going to try to turn this into a story. And some people got caught by it. The comments are a little rough. But for those of you who are into just hearing the truth, speaking the truth, and pushing the truth, this is a story that we need to correct. George Pickett is not a failure, and his rookie season is not viewed as a failure for the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are very optimistic about where this guy has started and where he can go from here. There is no part of the Pittsburgh Steelers organization inside or out of it that believes that George Pickens is somebody who isn't a star on the rise. But just like we do with Deontay Johnson from time to time when a simple tweet 
just explodes out of nowhere or an Instagram post gets a little carried away or somebody wants to run with a quote that he said and say, hey, this is now a negative thing. George Pickens is a wide receiver. Wide receivers are targeted as much as anybody on the internet because they are easy targets for people to latch onto because they have the narrative that they're quote unquote divas and these guys that are full of drama. And I get it. You know, we're currently watching and waiting for the Stefan Diggs situation to calm down. Antonio Brown is doing nobody any favors with everything that he's been doing and will continue to do. But George Pickens right now hasn't done any of that. And much like Deontay Johnson has fallen into this trap time and time again, it looks like George Pickens is next. And the more that his stardom rises, the more that he becomes a bigger and bigger X factor and a superstar within the NFL or or the NFL itself, the more these accounts, the more these people will continue to latch on to any negative thing they can and run with it. It is our job, as I said before, to avoid it. It is the slowest time of the offseason. We are now entering four months of absolute nothing. July 1st, you don't even know what's going on because the league office leaves. They look at everything and go, yeah, we're going on vacation. This is it. I'm on vacation right now because there's nothing happening. It is the driest, most boring time of the year for the NFL, and that stinks because the NFL is a year-round news cycle of just great content, and you got to love every second of it. And I'm sure that there will be plenty of content that comes within these four weeks, but I doubt that any of them will be major headlines. Maybe Chase Claypool's bear situation continues, and that's what we talk about. Maybe Kenny Pickett shows up with something or pictures from his wedding arise, and we talk about that. Maybe Mitch Trubisky appears at a Taylor Swift concert, and we talk about that. We have no idea, but I can tell you that George Pickens being bagged on by his wide receivers coach about last season is not something that the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to do ever, let alone during minicamp. In the words of Mike Tomlin, if you look bad at minicamp, there is a serious problem. Nobody comes to OTAs in minicamp in shorts and helmets, coaches included, and says, I cannot wait to negatively talk about somebody. I cannot wait to make the vibes nothing or anything but positive. I cannot wait to ruin early momentum. Not one single person within the organization thinks or does that. And if they did, Art Rooney would make them leave immediately. This is not what we do in Pittsburgh. That is rule one. I've known it for five years since I've been here. Every coach and every player has told it to me. And I'm sure that they all live by it as well. There's going to be plenty of more drama that arises and plenty of more situations where we have to talk and worry about these players. And I'm sure that George Pickens will be an easy target because he's only going to get better. But he's a guy from Georgia who was labeled coming into the NFL as somebody with issues. You want to say off the field issues, but I guess attitude issues would be a better way to summarize it because all of his issues were on the field and just had to do with him trying to fight people or yelling at the offense as he was coming off as a rookie. But none of it's like concerning. None of it has the Steelers in a frenzy. None of it has the Steelers talking negatively about their star second year receiver. Do not trust the bad headlines when it comes to people who are using one word of a quote, not during this time of the year. And if we all band together, which I believe that we will, and I believe that we do, Steelers fans and Steelers media might not always agree on a lot of things, but most times when I come on here and you guys talk back to me, it is a very, very let's unionize and make things right situation. Let's make this situation right.